Hello everybody, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club where I just got turned around and fucked up the arse because apparently I made one mistake in not telling Sayuri how much I loved her in what I clearly now thinking may have been the platonic way of I love you rather than I love you and I want to spend my rest of the love you and the lesbian couple blah 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 and do all the tongues mm. And now, sorry is not there, it's Monica. Monica is now Monica. Monica. I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm so unhappy. Monica? Oh my goodness, totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basic com basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. I've spent at least 29 years of my life in there. <laughs> You're in the debate club, right? Ah ha ha, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like they're nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to, pre how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something personal I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps a manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? Oh, I don't like the way my game keeps glitching because I'm like, is it the game or is it, is it the, my computer? I don't know, I'm scared. Don't break my computer. Yeah, it's funny, right? <laughs> she always insists that manga is literature too. Manga, manga. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Abby. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case... She just leans over the desk and looks like, Is there any chance you could do me a big favor? Monica, I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit the, like, my club, it would make me really happy. Please? <gasps> oh, okay. Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Easy. Fuck no. Sure, I guess I could check it out. Uh -huh, awesome! You're really sweet, Abby, you know that? It's nothing, really. <laughs> Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. <laughs> Thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I, listen, listen, I know how this is gonna go if you're gonna try and force me into the Monica spotlight, bitch, Natsuki has my heart. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs. Sex news, yeah, we already know. Monica full of energy swings over from the class door. We all know this, we all know, oh my god. No, that was terrifying. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Oh. <laughs> eh? Uh, a guest? Seriously? You bought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere, girl too. <laughs> okay, don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Abby. Mm. Oh, we're escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I know this. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? <laughs> no, I'm not. And look, I, even though Monica said her name Natsuki, it, you, uh, yeah, you, you, you didn't know Natsuki, so go on and go too. No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognise. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a thirsty. Yep, we all know this. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Yep, I know. 
This is Yuri, Vice President. Pleased to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid. Seems a hard time coming up with someone like Yosuke. It's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Abby in a classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you bought anyone new? I was going to... Well, you know. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come and sit down, Abby? The girls have a few desks arranged for the table. You're able to the corner room, the closet, my mom's yep. Yep. Let me take a seat next one. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet, Monica. I mean, that's it, yes, Ma Ma Monica. Must be hard to start a new club. Sorry, I mean, Monica. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that they're both fun and worthwhile, but it makes school events like the festival much more important. Confident that we can really grow at this club before we graduate. I'm sure we've run through this before. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think we've been through this before. Yeah. Okay. You're carrying a tea set. She carefully places. Yep. Yeah, I remember this. I don't want to skip it in case something new comes up, so I'll just, I'll cut it out. So here we go. No, they're all empty. No, no, I deleted everything. Oh, no. This is your fault, you bitch. <laughs> I love the fact they all go down like <laughs> I'm gonna write a poem. Are we gonna write a poem now? You have a lot of special poem. Yeah, sure. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. Vroom? 
Ah, look at how you can cheers. I can't remember. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys are adorable. Uh, I know you like horror. Ah, uh, yeah. Papa. Yeah, you're Papa. Um, vanilla. I'm trying to get Natsuki again. All I want is Natsuki strawberry. Imagination, judgment, tone. Cute. Yeah. Family? Yeah. Bouncy. Sorry. Yuri's like, oh, come on, man. Uh, pink. Okay, determination, waterfall. Love. Childhood? Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, definitely. Kawaii! Uh, puppy. Lipstick. Lipstick? Raindrops, but. I think, I think she's chocolate. Dream? Damn it, that was Yuri. Oh, I nearly got a clean run. Ah, desire. Damn it, Yuri, stop. Yuri, get out of here. Uh, adventure bed. Bed. I didn't see who that was. I think it was, I think it was her. I think it was, I think it was Natsuki. Contamination, destiny, parfait. Yes. Skipping. Lollipop. Yeah. Okay. Romance. And spinning. There we go. I was gonna say if Yuri was spinning, I'd be like, what the fuck, Yuri? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Hi again, Monica. You know what? I'm gonna... Okay, I'll do this, and then if I miss something, I'll be like, oh god, shit, that was my fault. I can't skip. Oh no, I can't skip, can I? Damn it. I don't want to talk to you again. Fine. Already... Okay. Oi! Thanks for keeping your promise, Abby. No problem, Yuri. It's fine. Natsuki! Oh my god! Oh come on, look like he deserves any slack. Mm. Hang on, save. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save as I need to pee, <laughs> but also I'm getting fr I'm getting sketched out, so uh, we'll come back when something new happens. Monica. Monica, get out of the fucking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Fucking Monica. That is beautiful. That is, that is beautiful. It's just gonna be a compilation of what the fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, what? Don't judge a Wow. No, <laughs> she's so cute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I read my dad would beat the shit out of me, and that was it. Oh, I didn't mean to skip past that part. Oh, I'm gonna have to pause it when I. Oh, I'm gonna edit this video, and I'm gonna have to read that. Oh, that's upsetting. Oh, that is upsetting. <gasps> no, no, <laughs> no. Oh, Natsuki, no. Oh, jeez. <sighs> She's fine. It just happens every now and then. Oh, this is new. So you're doing something to Natsuki now. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway. Why don't we have Sherlock Holmes now? So, this, uh, yeah, the, that, that wasn't in the last one. Let's read Natsuki's, because Natsuki's is my, my bae. Uh, is this one the same as before? Let's have a read. Please, God, Monica, don't have touched it. Don't touch your problems. What? What? Oh, yeah, I remember. She can't, she can't think of anything bad to say.
You need to go fuck yourself right now, Monica. I can't skip her dialogue and I'm I'm scared. <sighs> I love the fact I could skip Natsuki and Yuri's one, like, nah, yeah, no, you've been through this before. But when it's Monica, it's like, no, bitch, you stay and you fucking read what she has to say. I like it. <laughs> Always keep a snack on you. Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in her, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. Oh. She just loses all her strength and shuts down. Oh, this is new. No, don't you touch my Natsuki. Don't. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into PTK with too, you know? Now, what do you think? What do you think? You are the simply no logical meme. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? It's literally that. Someone put Monica glitching over to what do you think and you'll see what I mean. Whoa, whoa, edgy, whoa, 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 sorry about my life, so, oh, whoa, saying that, from... oh, no, I don't like it, no, I don't like it, most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know, if you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others, like, with your sickening attitude, you think you can counterbalance your cop toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute, you know, think cute about you, so how hard you try, oh, no, well, be careful, you might cut yourself in that edge, Yuri, Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? Whoa, what the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on, let Abby hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh, suddenly you return towards me as if she's known as I was standing here. Abby, she's just trying to make me look back. That's not true, she started it. Oh, how did I get? Whoa, yeah, uh, mm, that, uh, Yuri, Yuri, I'm on Yuri's side. No, I didn't mean to. Natsuki, Natsuki. I nearly. Something, something's happening. Natsuki, I choose Natsuki. 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 Hi, Monica. 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 Um, hey, Abby. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It'd probably be better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some present I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have an enemy to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. <gasps> oh, honey, no, I'll follow you. She quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in the desk with her palms and her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki, or did. Abby... Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Oh! <laughs> anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Okay. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. Just run. Run, Yuri. Run. But she keeps glancing at Monica. Run, Yuri. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. <laughs> well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It, it's not that. It's not that. I just... I don't get much attention, chance to discuss my book with Abby. It just would be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really appreciate you. Oh, no. 
Oh no. <laughs> okay. I, whoa, hey, I didn't, mm, flying. Okay, let's have a look. Kiss? Oh, I should have picked Parfait, then I don't know what to do. Milk. Giggle. Uh, heart. I promise heart. Heart. Papa. Silly. Uh, a pff. A pff. I'm like, I don't know. Desire. No, uh, shit, candy. Uh, jumpy, cheer. Uh, sticky? Yeah, I, I don't think Yuri would be sticky. <laughs> it sounds weird. Love. Uh, portrait, one of all. Lipa! Uh, ribbon? Ribbon. Kawaii! Uh, laugh. I'm sorry, Yuri. Excitement. And kitty. And vanilla. Love you. I love you, Natsuki. Don't touch my Natsuki. Another day passes it and it's time for the club meeting already. I've got a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the classroom, the usual scene beats me. Welcome back, Abby. Oh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, your glance is over her shoulder looking around the room. Natsuki is reading at a desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I only need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you're considering and apologize. You don't have to worry too much. I know it's not you. I know what you're trying to do. It's fine. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe you were just a little extra sensitive because it was a first time sharing poems, but whatever it is, it didn't make me think any less of you. I'd already decided there's no way you could be a really bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, uh -huh. Abby. Don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around and... Uh, Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? <laughs> no, I ha no, I haven't. Uh, so I was kind of wondering where she was. <clears throat> Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. <laughs> Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. N no, I, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it sounds stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Natsuki, Yuri, what the, ha what the heck are you talking about? She doesn't remember. She doesn't remember. Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Uh-huh, but I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I, I don't hate you. Ah, uh -huh. well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Mm, it's okay to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Otsuki was. I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. And, you know, I got my period and all that blood came out of me. So I had to go to the bathroom. And then I realized that I soaked for anything. So then I had to go home quickly and get, yeah, you know, the stuff. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Uh, <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I was aware you played music as well, Monica. Oh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still really, not really good at it. Mm -hmm. It's quite a lot of decoration, so I'm still impressed. <laughs> well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ah, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. 
Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Now that sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? I've had this conversation with before, I think. In that case, I won't let you down, Abby. Monica smiles sweetly, and the other two just go, whoosh. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, that Nutsuki has already run off into the closet. Abby, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. In the club. In the, I mean, in the club. I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki's waiting for me. After we finish reading yesterday, she, she's fine. Oh, she's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. Oh, tough tits. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. All right, what's the story about anyway? I don't, well, hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. It's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. M Markov? Mark, Mark, Markov, Cram, Bar, 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 Cram, Bar, Cram. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. Oh. And people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. She's trying to give me a message. And the, the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. <laughs> Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? <laughs> you made it sound like it was going to be a nice story so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah! Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Abby? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kind of stories, so don't worry. Don't worry about it. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that you're always into these kind of things. <laughs> She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely fucked up. It's just that this kind of story, it's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world's full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Oh, Yuri. Yeah, then suddenly... Oh, I'm rambling, aren't I? Yeah. Not again. I'm sorry. I, I don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. It's not like I'm signal signaling to Natsuki, come save me, come hit this bitch out with a manga book. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let... Things like books and writing for my thoughts. My whole body goes... Oh, I didn't read that. Kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please don't stop me if I start talking too much. Well, that's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. Or pretend. It's a literature club after all. <laughs> ah. That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh! Mm, mm, yes. Mm. I mean, you don't have to, but... Ah, uh -huh, what are you saying? <laughs> Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I'm slipping to the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. That's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realise that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. Looks like she's reading from my book instead. Oh, sorry! I was just, I was just bathing in the feeling of your book. Oh my god! Yuri, you really apologise a lot, don't you? I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> then this should work right. I slide my desk up until it's against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Ah. Oh. Yuri takes her left arm and folds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah! 
I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and you slide it under a thumb after a flip. It flips to her side. Ah, oh, that's good. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. <laughs> Fuck your limb see. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's feels as if I feel the warmth of your face is just in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh, to turn the page. Oh, sorry. Uh, I think I got distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Don't fucking let Monica see. Monica's gonna fucking come in and jump scare me and be like, what the fuck are you two doing? <laughs> That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. I know this sounded really bland, but I was like, meh. Nah. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished the page for me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently let go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? Oh, I don't like her face. No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Eh? Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh huh. That's what you were talking about. Sorry. Thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that for yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Ha 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 ha. Yuri, you're feeling right. Uh? Um, Yuri's been a little fridged here ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little. My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest, as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Mm. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? I don't know. Abby? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri is acting a little strange, I guess, so you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. Wow, Monica. No, nothing. Ah, uh, don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a little while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Well, yeah, I was just asking. I stand up, I make a med note where I left in the book, then slip it back in my bag. Okay, sure. Oh, the poem should I read first? My face. Hmm. It's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Oh, where are you going? Uh, okay, this is the same one as before, so... Oh, another care who spend time with. Oh, yeah. after all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Ha! Huh. I see. I see. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Binary, 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 Abby, Tess Natsuki, I love you. Why didn't you come read with me today? I tried! She wouldn't let me! I was waiting for you. I know, I love you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Abby, do you? Oh, uh, do you hate me? Oh, I hate it when you do that. Do you want to? Do you want to make me go home crying? Oh, she's crying tears of blood. The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it, please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Oh, okay. Bleh. Who should I vote? I vote you next. I don't know. 
Monica, I know, I know you're probably evil, most than like, more than likely, because of everything, but I need a hug. <laughs> Hi again, Abby. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Oh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for me today? Sure, here you go. Uh, I give my poem to Monica. Mm, Alright. Great job, Abby. I was going, ooh, in my hand while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. Ah, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. I wrote it for Natsuki. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean it like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Uh, already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad that you took all the time you need. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Why can't you two be dating? It would be so much easier if Monica was dating Yuri. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like this way it turned out, so I hope you do too. It saved me. The colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful, no, flashing, sun, blue, red, green, blue, and this cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise it won't stop. Violent grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing, sign causing tangent like playing on a chalkboard, the turntable like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage, analysis BM of me. Delete her. <gasps> I'm gonna fucking delete you, bitch. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm deleting this fucking file. <laughs> I'm just gonna delete all the files. Like, I'm gonna get to him, like, delete, delete. Oh no, I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, I just noticed the ever so slight, like, red tinge right by Monica's eyes. If you look really closely, it's, they're both in the corners. And when she closes her eyes, it kind of makes her look a little bit evil. <laughs> Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when I'm... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Uh. Oh, Yuri. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what we've written today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Ugh. Ah, uh, I mean, the poem turned out good. <laughs> it's a... Well, there are some things you, that you could work on. But that doesn't really matter. Feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Ah, uh, that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. A rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes of docks. This is a, a, a thin tight with thick rope. Holy stakes. Oh, uh, it's all it's all jumbled, close up of blood written in clocks, a time drying. If you want, if you want to pause, you can read it, but. Of holy, it literally just garbo. Breathing, holy sakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing boo. Uh -huh. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I have to take it out on your pen. Ah, oh, that is a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I am. Um, I just really like the way it, that it writes, so I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. Uh -huh. I'm okay. What should I just. Uh -huh. Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem though. Yeah, sure. <gasps> no, it upsets me. No, sorry. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> you bitch, Monica. You bitch. Okay, everyone. Well done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Yes, sorta. Ah, uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? Okay, so just talking about. I can hear fucking noise. What is that? I can hear fucking noise, and my only thought process is it's either my mum coming downstairs and doing some stuff, or someone's trying to like knock on the door loudly enough to hear me, and I'm like, it's Sunday, no one should be here. What the fuck? Just end up embarrassing yourself. Yeah. So okay, this is what we've gone through already. Unless something comes up, let's have a look. Hey, hey, this is new. Hey. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us joined the club with other people in mind? You and Evie never even talked until Abby joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Abby isn't even passionate about literature in the first place, and that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our options for once. Don't upset Monica. Monica is really taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki, no. Natsuki, no. Baby! That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Abby wants to get more members too, right? Uh, uh, I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed so much enthusiasm as Monik wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Um... No. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Abby, why did you even join this club? Because you asked me to. What were you hoping to get out of it? I just wanted to kiss Natsuki. Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? I don't know. 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 I'm scared. <sighs> now you've done it, Natsuki. What? What? Me? You just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just, I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't there aren't many other places like that for me, and not, now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Abby, it's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could just have joined any of the stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki... Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Ah, oh, this is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Oh, this is upsetting me. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oh, I'm upset. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Abby? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up at making the Literature Club a special place, so my nose was itching. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while, she is crying blood. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. <sighs> All right. We're just gonna ignore that happened. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Hmm? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. 
and also a wonderful friend. Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. Just date each other, then the game will be much happier. Jesus Christ. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Abby? Uh, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit before, with Abby before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of this time here and all that. It's important to me as president. <laughs> don't leave me alone with her. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Yuri, no, don't leave me alone with her. You're okay. It's just your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew! Things have been hectic lately, haven't they? Abby, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. <sighs> I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. I don't like the background, and I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and you're giving a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Monica! You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. I've been trying to date Natsuki, but no one will let me. And I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say anything weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet! No! Bye, bitch. Ah, uh, bubbles. Play. I, I saw that. I saw that. I fucking saw that. That was Sayuri's head. Hawaii? I saw Sayuri's head jump up and it, um, Sayuri, I know you're down there. Oh, no, wait, that was Monica. That is 100% Monica. That was Monica's head. What the fuck? Okay, whatever, sure. Uh, skirt. Uh, sticky. Papa. Desire. Damn it! I forget that's you. Why am I getting one, 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 one? Is this binary? Who's who's talking to me in bright binary? Is it Monica? Funny. Uh, silly. Uh, sugar. Yuri looks more and more sad as it goes along, and I'm like, hey, <laughs> giggle. Oh, this is anime. Uh, of course you're anime. Uh, oh no, I I thought that's parfait. Chocolate. What? Um, no, I'm good. Uh, there's, these were all bad. Cute. Lipstick. Ah, candy. Is this ever gonna end? Pink. No, Sayori, no. No, Sayori, no. Hi, Abby. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I bought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to- Oh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling- Oh, no, not again. Oh, dear. Maybe I should- Yeah, I'm gonna end it here and uh, pick it up in the next episode when there's gonna be an argument. Oh, we'll see you all in the next bit of Jokey Jokey Literature Club. Bye-bye.